Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Angie. I make tons of video how to entertain your preschooler and especially uh, to your three year old during this uncertain time. I have tons of sensory activities, science experiments, and also how to uh, homeschool your child if you need to during this uncertain time. And I got tons and tons of activities so you can check them out from the beginning until the end. So this is like a marathon how to entertain your preschool and a three-year-old so make sure you check them out from the beginning until the end so you can get some ideas and I have ton activities that you can do inside or indoor at your home or on your back balcony if you live in an apartment or uh, if you have a backyard you can do it, some of these activities at your backyard as well if you cannot go to the playground or other uh, public spaces because of this current uncertain situation so I hope you like this video and make sure you like and subscribe. So for the first part, I'm gonna start with Brennan's favorite so he can play this for one to three hours. And this one is Kinetic Sand and I got it from Dollar Store. The box looked like this. I thought it's gonna be more but actually when you open it up it looks like this. But it's only four bucks so not too bad. It comes with three tools like these blue tools. And uh, for this one I have it from before so it's just like a sand toys. So basically he can mold like a sea star, like seahorse and stuff. He's so happy and... <laughs> What shape is it, honey? Star. Sea star, yeah. And one and a half hours later, it's still going strong. Yeah, Brendan. Do you still like it? <laughs> so this is day two. We are playing with the sand. Last time he played for three hours, and let's see how long it will last. And uh, now I'm getting smarter. I have this old box that I got from Dollar Store, so I suggest that you use this kind of thing instead of just put it on the table, otherwise it will get so messy, because last time it was so messy. And so many people ask me where I get the kinetic sand, so I got it from Dollarama and it costs uh, $4 only, and I believe you can get it from Superstore or Amazon as well, but I think it costs a little bit more, but you can get more sand as well. What did you say? Three hours. No, three hours will be too cold. One hour. Yeah, one hour is okay. So what usually we put is, before I put like uh, bathtub toys, but he doesn't like that anymore. So basically I put like water gun that I got last summer. And I put like dump truck and shovel. So basically that's his like beach toys and or sand toys. And I also got the, his cement truck that I got from Dollar Store. So I don't really care if it got ruined. I also bought something for the sand actually, but I think I'm gonna give him uh, a try later on after he got bored with this toys. I don't want to give him right now, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So the other toy that I got from the dollar store is this sand toys. It cost me $3.50. I think it's pretty good deal rather than you got it from like a toy store or something. It has like this one and it has like this thing I have so many already but it also come with this I think he's gonna enjoy this one he can put water he can put like sand and it will turn so after he got bored with his water gun I will give him this one to play at the bathtub are you having fun what is that quack, quack yeah so basically if he play at the bathtub if he play inside the bathtub he can play for like one hour if I let him more he will stay more but I usually like limit it until one hour only Next, you can also put like um, water inside like a big basket and you can do it whatever you want but I try to do it on my bathroom floor but it's kind of messy so I just put him inside the big bathtub then I just put like a small stool and put like so many like things that he can play with like sponge, this thing, bottles and ducks and submarine and also this one where he can squish the water squid the water and so far he likes it and i just put him on his swimsuits because i put him on his pajamas before and it's wet and i just turned on the heater 
so he's not cold and I don't know how so if it's not bad time this is another option that you can uh, do so this is just an extra basket that I have or um, the extra basket so it's waterproof and then there's like uh, old bottle that I used for the IO project before and this thing for baking sponge and screw it and this bottles and these cups and Brandon is obsessed with this one so if you don't have toys you just need to be creative you can use whatever you have at home and then just put water and he he liked it before when I just used like a regular water but at the end when he got bored you can always put like a the yeah, um, like a uh, food coloring so you can always change the color and you can also put like bubbles I just use old shampoo bottles from hotels so you can use whatever that you want and just need to be a little bit more creative the next one will be bubbles at dollar store you can find like so many kind of bubbles like the long one the short one like the frozen one or uh, spider-man one and he loves it at first he didn't know how to do it but later on he's an expert of that and he loves it Ula, ula. <laughs> wow! What is it, honey? I want to open it. Yeah, it's watercolor. You get 18 pieces with the paint brass, and it's only 2.5. Can you show mommy the paint, please? So it's 250, and you can get 18 watercolor. It says it's washable, and it has some sand there. So I'm gonna see how long does it, does it last for him to play. So it comes with three packs, and so far he loves it. And every time he wants to change color, I just put like in a cup with water, so he can have like a clean brush afterwards. Just remember to put like plastic bags on top of your table because I didn't before because I thought the paper is big enough but it was like it's so messy it got to the table uh, it's a little bit greenish if you can see I try using the magic erasers and nail polish remover but I have no luck even though it says washable so yeah just remember to put the plastic bag on top of the table but at least he looks so happy and very occupied you happy? Yeah. Mm. I'm just painting. Okay. So you don't always have to food, uh, use like food coloring, you can also use like white water if you don't want it to be messy because we have carpet at home so yeah we just put like plastic bag here and then he's having so much fun with the water so uh, compared to the blue water, uh, blue water is so much fun but yeah I need to do it at the kitchen or at the bathroom because I use the blue one and it's really hard to take it off from my finger so but I thought he will not like it if we just use the regular water, but apparently he uh, he still enjoy it uh, using the regular water. And just to let you know, he, he like to use the syringe instead of this one because I thought at first he loves this one compared to that one. So apparently he liked that one better. Now you like it? How sweet? How to sweet? Are you happy? Yeah. You like it? And another thing is they can also play with Play-Doh, so Play-Doh also take a long time, sometimes he can play like uh, about one hour. We have a bunch of like um, tools where he can make like burger, burger fries, like pretzel and stuff. Next are the Montessori inspired activities. <laughs> So this one I actually borrowed it from my friend and it's basically just like a puzzle but it's circle instead of like rectangle or square and then it has the animal's name here like in English and in Indonesian and he's just trying to find the matching animals and put it inside the circle and so far he loves it. Do you love it? Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
And next we are playing puzzles and the puzzles is really interesting because it has a lot of like the constructions car, like ambulance car, like fire rescue team car and he's obsessed with that kind of thing and they also have two languages, one in Indonesian and one in English so he can learn new things and uh, he loves, he used to love puzzles but right now it's kind of challenging for me to make him like the puzzles again uh, yeah so I need to change it up I usually just store the old one on my cabinet and bring the new one out and then change it a bit so he's not bored and I always need to like start a bit with him first and then he will start going by himself So I just tie like this kind of uh, strings at the laundry baskets and then I just prepare some uh, washcloth and Brandon has the clothes pin. So show mommy how do you do it, Chun Chun? Can you show mommy how to do it? Can you pin? Oh, good job. Hi Brandon. Hi. Mm -hmm. So for this project you will need this laundry basket and then clothes pin that I got from dollar store I think I got 36 for one dollar 25 cents you will need scissors and you will need this any kind of rope or string I think I'm just gonna use this one I think I use I got it from dollar store so after that I'm just gonna tie it at the laundry basket and then I'm just gonna ask Brennan to hang like a washcloth or something okay and then put it there Okay, and then you can pin it with the clothespin. Oh, you want to put another one? Okay. Okay, thank you. Good job. Then pin it. So next one, we're gonna play with the bits. So I got this from the Dollarama, $1.25. It comes with the string, but I didn't see this before. So I bought an extra wire stamps, but I thought I'm gonna use this for I something want else. To open it. Uh, yes, you can. So I bought this in bunch color. I also have a different one, but I don't want to show him first, otherwise he's otherwise he will get bored. And basically he just needs to put to the bits on the string oh so yeah so far I tried to put it on the string that it came with but for me it's kind of difficult so I thought I don't think it will work for Brandon but uh, but thanks God I got this wire it's called craft wire stamps and it works better I think with their small hand because he's still very young so I think it works better for him anyway this one is a fail so he was really angry when I teach him how to do it and put it on the wire so maybe if you have baby girl, they will like it more. But he just obsessed with playing with this because he thought he thought it is candy, but he don't like to put it on the stems. Yeah, I'm pretty sad. But so far so good. He loves the uh, bits, but he just doesn't want to put it on the wire or on the string. And what do you have on the bowl? Rainbow. <laughs> rainbow, rainbow. <laughs> so the wire and the string didn't work, but he was playing with these bits for a long time since the morning and he just put it on a dump truck, he dumped it and put it on the trailer as well. So yeah, that's another option to entertain your kids. So for the next activities, it will be using these colorful pom-poms and I got this tongue from the Play-Doh set and then I'm just, I'm just gonna ask him to put it on the blue cup here and this one as well, the one that we got from Glow and let's see whether he likes it or not. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pocket tongue, pocket tongue. No, I want pocket tongue. Uh, where it come from? From Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. 
So right now it's 10 to 3, so let's see how long he's gonna last playing this one. Okay. I want... Hey, where it comes from? From the Play-Doh. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Okay, right now it's 5 to 3, so it only lasts 5 minutes. He doesn't really like this game. And I bought this one from my friend. My friend actually made this one, but I think Brandon is too young. He's just like impatient as well to match out the colors, but at least we try. And it's actually really nice when he gets older and he can learn all the difference of the colors. The colors were just too similar and he is really impatient for that one. And the next one will be the string and chips. I borrowed this one from my friend as well. Uh, I think Brandon kind of enjoyed this one as well. He put all the shapes inside the strings. And it's, I think it's really Montessori inspired like the one at school. Uh, like the one that he's doing at school. will be this glitter glue that I got from dollar stores it has so many colors and he loves it happy yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> what did you make yeah. Ew. <laughs> what are you making mm, I don't know <laughs> what is it bubble. <laughs> I need to make more bubble. Bubble. and then more bubble. And next one, I just try to draw like some lines, some X lines, some wiggly lines, and some shapes so he will follow whatever it is on the paper. And he also used, like to use this punch stamp and then he just punch it up on a piece of paper and he can do this for a long time. So I got this from Dollar Store before. I actually have so many before, so my, my dad bought me when I was in high school. Like. Some of them are damaged maybe, some of them like I still have this one, this one, but uh, it's been more than 20 years. Uh, I can still use it, but for Brandon it's kind of hard, so that's why I give him the one from Dollar Store only. And then he will put the paper that he punched over here. There's a like maple leaf that I punch, stars butterfly good job so he need to move the stones from this cup to that cup with small spoon or teaspoon and then I saw that he's doing this at school so I think he can do it next will be the house chores that you can do together at home uh, uh, that's so heavy <laughs> use your knife Yeah, terus ini pegang this hand, pegang ini biar bananya gak kemana-mana And then cut yeah. yeah Okay So we are making this pudding Nutri-Gel and this uh, agar-agar powder We just mix it with sugar right now so he's helping me mixing it with sugar. I'm gonna add water, and after it's done, we're gonna put it on this place so it can shape like flowers and fruits. So this is something that you guys can do together. You can always put fruits inside, and you can like put the jelly on top, and you can always like bake a cake or something. But we don't really like it. So, so the pink one is done. Uh, I just need to put this on the fridge. And ta-da! It looks so pretty, but Brandon is not a big fan of jelly, but my husband and I love it. Next will be his favorite toys.
I'm thinking when it is close to Easter, I'm also gonna hide all these eggs around my house. So I'm gonna put something inside, like toy, small toys or chocolate, and he can try to find it. I'm gonna draw like a map, so hopefully he like it. Next, you can also play like pretend play. Brandon like to play like pretend play. Like on these sides, I bought this from Dollar Tree before. So there's like a knight, a helmet, and also like the shields, and also this one. We bought it uh, on the event before, like the sword, and it also has like uh, this police set. I got this from someone else before, and then there's a police man suit with the phone, and that one, and the gun, and there's also doctor doctor's kit as well, and also like fire truck, and like phone he likes to pretend to call, like their emergency or something. So yeah, this can um, um, last for a long time as well, but this one you have to play with him usually otherwise uh, but if you your kid have like a siblings or friends or something they can play together show mommy your shield oh like that <laughs> he also like this magma formers and this robot they can also play with this magnet tiles. It can take a long time as well. Sometimes it comes with the square, big square, like triangle, so they can make whatever ships that they want. Next, of course, they can also play with Lego Duplo as well. But sometimes they get bored, so you need to like switch it up sometimes. Next will be indoor soccer. So if you don't have a field or yard at your house, you can always play indoor soccer just in case it is raining or you need to do like social distancing because of the coronavirus. So for this one, I just made some ice cubes last night. I uh, provide like two big mixing bowls. I just asked him to use like small tongs to move the ice to the other bowl, but he can use his hand. He can use like a small ladder or something. You can also put like small toys inside the ice cube when you put it on the freezer. So he improvised it a little bit. So he got this one and then he trucks and then just put the ice everywhere. So I don't really recommend to color the ice I think because it fell on the table and the floor but he loves it. He played for a long time and he improvised to use hand, plastic to cover his hands. So I thought oh why not uh, ask him to use his mittens instead. So yeah. He, he he likes it. Do you like it, Brandon? Yes. I'm just making... So you can make a big ice as well and you can use like a pretend uh, hammer and like goggles for him to crack it. So far he enjoy it. Do you like it? Yes. So for the next activity is to use the glow stick. So you can always just play it like this or you can put it on the bathtub. Uh, so I saw like some other people like put it on the bathtub. So I give uh, Brandon to the yellow and the blue one. He can play like uh, the glow sticks as a glow stick like long or he can make like a bracelet. And so far he loves it. I like glue stick mommy and I can go in dark and I can use my glow stick. I see. So yeah, so beside the glow uh, bath, and so you put the glow sticks on the bathtub, you can also have like a dance party. And also I sometimes use this to bribe him to brush his teeth and ask him to go pee before his bedtime. And he loves that one. So I think it's really worth it to buy it at the large store. Cheese! I want glow stick! What color do you like? Blue! So for the next one, I use glow stick when he's taking a bath and he loves it. I just turn off the lights on the bathroom and open the door so it's not too dark but it's not too bright as well. And I just give him like two glow stick every time and he loves that. So so the bathtub will not get bored because you keep changing all the stuff that can, you can use during the bath time. For the next one is blocks bath so i just use a lot of blocks that i got from dollar store i think it's only three bucks for the whole bucket and i just pour everything out on the bathtub so he can make like blocks and like a tower and stuff using the blocks while he's taking a bath so it's like sensory play for him while he's taking a bath as well so it's like two activities at the same time so for the next one uh, I will put uh, number 0 to 12 in uh, like a post it I'm gonna put it all around my house and if he can get all the numbers and then he can get something later on I'm gonna try to do it in English and in Bahasa as well and you can also do it in like the letters 
Can you find dua? Tiga, tiga. Delapan. Sebelas. So I put all the markers everywhere so I asked him to find the colors and you can use like English or your mother tongue language and I, right now I'm teaching him like our mother tongue language which is Bahasa Cari kuning kecil Yellow, small yellow, kuning kecil And then give it to mommy Thank you Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate Chocolate besar Big, cho big brown Brown Find your name, no. Brandon. Good job. Can you find Daddy? Good job. Can you find Mommy? Oh, good job. And another thing that you can do is you can build a fort using like a bed sheets, like big uh, bed sheets or blankie. But I find that bed sheets better because it's not too heavy. I just put it on my bar stools and his high chairs. And he loves this one. I usually make the fort like every two days. And he will pretend that that is his house or the police house or police stations. And then inside, uh, I usually sometimes can put like a lantern as well and we can read a book or something inside. <coughs> Hi, Brandon. <laughs> So we're gonna have our Zoom call soon. So every Monday we will have like a Zoom call with his church friend and every Wednesday with his school friends and every Thursday there's a story time as well. So we try to join it as much as possible. So like he can do craft together with his friends and also like listen to story time and dancing together. So there's another activity that you can do. Find a community, whether it's at school, from your church or something for your kid. One, two, three, four, five. And then? Ready? I come. Come on, hide, yeah. Do you want to hide or seek? Hide. So, can you tell mommy what shape is the stop sign? I'll take it. Can you tell mommy there how many people inside? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. So, I just want to mention again that it's really important to ro rotate no, no, no. your toes. So he has this for about two years, I think, and he got bored with it. So I just throw it on my uh, cabinet again, and then uh, he, he's pretty excited again to see it. And I really love this Melissa and Duck school bus. It looks really simple, but somehow he likes it because it, it is a school bus, and it's really durable as well. So it has like about seven people inside, and it has the teachers and the girl and the boys, so you can teach your kids about the teacher's name and also like the his class uh, your daughter or your son classmates and ask them ask them whether they remember their classmates names and there's also like a door that can be open um yeah it looks really simple but somehow he likes it and you can also teach them like colors and like the shapes and uh you just have to be creative from it so he's not bored to learn colors from the book only but he can also learn like colors numbers shapes and like other languages in like different kind of situations and yeah so he basically can do a pretend play with this one and while he's learning as well do you like this school cool bus yes can you can see from there Window. Oh, gitu ya. Oh, there's the windows. Yeah, so you can teach about the windows, the doors, and also like um the shapes as well, and colors, and wheels, and stuff. Mm -hmm. So the next activity that they can do is this water bits. I got this from Amazon, but you can also get it from Dollar Store or AliExpress. And I'm just waiting until it's getting bigger and bigger. It comes with a small pack. And then one pack is like about 200 water bits and then you just put water and then it will get bigger in about 4 hours or about 18 hours so it's gonna look like this 
later on and then you can ask your toddler or preschooler pre to scoop the water bits and put it on the other container and Brandon's gonna love this so the water bits looks like this when it come from the package and it has so many colors like the rainbow one is uh, Brandon's favorite and they have red one, yellow one, black one, this one just make sure that your toddler or preschooler is above three because you don't want them to eat the water bits so this is what it looks like after eight hours so i'm just gonna leave it overnight so brandon can play with it tomorrow the other one that i want to show you is this uh giant aqua magic mat that i got from amazon so i got the one from jason wells so it's really big and you can also get it from aliexpress the price is pretty similar though so i i thought i'm just gonna get it from amazon because it's just faster and then what I like about this one, it has all the alphabets on the sides. It has seven colors in the middle. So when it dries, it will get white again. And you just use water to color it. And also the kids can learn how to trace the ladder, like the capital ladders and small ladder as well. And it also comes with a case and it has like four markers and this one and a lot of like stamps and this so you can put it on the floor or you can attach it to your window and it also come with the tracing ruler so it has the shape one the number one and all kind of shapes here and there's a drawing booklet as well teach you how to draw from zero to this one yes Abba. yeah temple windows i am so yeah, you can put this on the window. Yes, stamp by window, sayang. And it also comes with a lot of like stamps. Like for this, for example, this one is like the bee one. They have the dolphin one. This one is just that something that I can play with him and teach him like ladder shape and stuff like that. So it's more about learning. So for Brandon, he cannot play by himself for this one because he will get bored easily. But uh it depends on the kids so if your kids like to do craft and they can they like to draw or color maybe they can do it together but but for brandon i need to do it with him but again this is just like a tool that i can use to teach him uh, something new every day to draw like to color and learn about ladder and stuff so this one is just like no mat so you, you just need to wait until the mat is dry you don't need to clean up anything and it looks like this or you can also like do a tracing like this. Then, or like draw. And then the color, it has different colors here. Brandon has been obsessing with robot transformer right now. Every kind of robot like rescue bots or transformer. So I got this one from Walmart. And I actually ordered something from AliExpress but they haven't arrived and he has been holding this for two days straight already and I'm from Ms. Prime. I'm from Prime. Can you show mommy how to transform to trailer please? So yeah, it's actually not that easy because he's only three but this one is for six plus but somehow he can do it right away on the first day and yeah he's been playing this for two days so he's actually like the robot compared to this one again this one is just like for learning wow good job and then transform again to robot rescue bot go to the parking spot yes so you can also use like painter's tape on your floor because it's painter's tape, it will not damage your floor. You can make a big one for like a bigger truck and like a small parking spot for like smaller cars. Somehow he's obsessed with parking spots. When we go to like the parking spot uh, beside our house, he also like to like pretend himself like as a car and go back and forth on the parking spot. So I had an idea because I saw it on Pinterest, like someone use it painter's tape uh, to line up the cars but instead of using that to line up the cars he loves this one as um, he loves this one better as a parking spot so that's another idea just in case you run out of idea what to do and I did this before it, I, I pull it off and it doesn't damage my uh, mat or like my carpet 
So right now I'm just letting him to cut like the paper. I use the, the small scissors and this one because I just talked to the teacher uh, on a conference call and the teacher said he actually know how to use scissors already. I didn't know about that one. He can cut like a straight line and like a fringe. So I let him to cut like different kind of paper like the thin one, thick one and like different color of paper as well. So he loves that. And of course, if you have a backyard, you can ask them to join with gardening as well. But for us, we don't have a backyard, so we just grow this grow, uh, green onions. And we harvest it so many times already, and we just add more. And it's really nice, so we don't have to go back and forth to the supermarket to get a new green onion when we cook. It's really easy. You can just put a little bit of uh, the green onion, and then they will put a little bit of water. And you don't need to change the water like every day only three to four days and they will grow taller and taller and taller it's open no it's open let me close it open blanket go inside So he likes to pretend that this is his house. So I just use three sofa cushions and use a blankie or throw blanket as the roof. And we can open the door here and close the door. And there he is. Hi. <laughs> Somehow he likes it. He likes the fort and this one. So it doesn't cost any extra money and he's having fun. <coughs> Are you hiding? Are you hiding? Yeah. Is this your house? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we're just gonna learn about uh, alphabets and letters. Can you open the first page, baby? So this one is a tracing, so but today we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna learn the capital letters A, B, C and, and the small letters and the number. He can... Uh, he can do the number pretty good already for English, but we're gonna do it in Bahasa. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, N, N, L, O, O, P, P, Q, R, S, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Good job. One, two, sing with me. Now you know my A B C. Next time, sing with me again. Get there, good job. Eh? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So for this one, I'm just setting up like a pouring station. So I saw this on I the Pinterest. It. Okay, you can do that. Okay, so basically, he just need to pour it. Of course, I don't. Want to uh, play this on the carpet so just play at the bathtub I just put like food me? coloring Can so I just put like a measuring cup like a bowl and this thing and that one and then big box and I also have this as well and so far he likes it so it's like something new otherwise he got bored so I need to think of something and like change it a little bit Can even though like the concept is the same right now it's time to do his Montessori work so, so we're just playing with the I sensory play and he need to scoop it to move it to the other bowl. So I have this one, I have stone, I have rocks and bits so he can change it up a bit. So this one is just buttons that I got from the store. I also have this one bits, the rocks. So I have the rocks, magnets, eraser as well. So he likes this kind of stuff for sensory play. And somehow he likes it when I put it in a tray because uh, at school I think they put all the works on the tray. And he also likes to play with my magnets. So the precious ones I just put it on top here. Uh, the one that I got from different countries and is my precious. So I put it on top. I put the other one on this side as well, so it's pretty safe. But the one at the bottom he can play with. Basically, he can play with this one because he cannot damage it. And he can also play with this one. He got it 
from his birthday before and he also can put like this letter number and he loves this one as well and the robot one so he's just putting more magnets there i'm putting more magnets on green one okay so yeah he seemed pretty happy are you do you like it so for the next activity, I just use toilet paper and paper towel rolls and but I don't have enough so I use like the old cardboard as well. So I just put a four rows of uh, paper towel rolls and toilet paper and then I just put four cups at the bottom and he's so happy so he really thinks that it's like cannonball. Wow! Wow, so he just playing with his car and pretend that that is the tunnel even though it's so ugly he play it for it he play for it for a long time already so sometimes it's kind of surprising so they have a lot of toys but they just want to have something new even though I just made this really quickly he loves it Next, you can also do a baking or cooking together with your toddler whether they want to help or whether or not is really depends on the boat but sometimes they can help with mixing like scooping and pouring as well for the next one he can also draw and trace on the paper that I got from dollar store basically it's black but when you trace it uh, with like a, some sort of cut pencil it will show like a rainbow color so Brandon loved this one but again you have to sit with them and to play with them and interact with them so I will teach him how to use the rulers and how to make circle like square like all kind of shapes and he loved this one but it's kind of messy a little bit but you can always clean it up later on and uh, he can learn something new while he's playing as well and this is one of the gifts that I got for him for his Easter basket so if you haven't checked out my previous video I made a video about what I put on Brandon's Easter basket and mostly I got it from the dollar store uh, at the Dollarama so make sure you check them out Next will be coloring and you can buy a lot of like coloring book at dollar store from the big one to the small one and depends on the theme as well whether it's Christmas, Halloween or like Easter like this and they can learn about the traditions while they're playing and coloring. Doing a good job. Wow, it's an Easter egg. Good job. Did you hide the egg? Not yet. So I have filled up this uh, eggs with a chocolate egg and this one with a small toys and like an Easter, um, Easter erasers. So I'm just gonna hide this all around the house and we're gonna fight it together with Brandon. So Brandon loves this activity and because it's a plastic eggs, you can always do it even though it's not Easter so you can reuse it and reuse it again. So he is really excited when he can find the eggs um, when I hide it like behind the pillow or something. I find more. I find more. I find more. <laughs> So these are all the eggs that I hide. So it has the pastel colors, it has the emoji one, and uh, his favorite I think is the golden one. <laughs> there you go. Oh, thank you. Wow, that looks so delicious. So this one is just really simple. So you can just prepare like two mixing bowl or two big bowl and one ladder. And I just used this uh, erasers that I got for the Easter and somehow he made this by himself so he pretend to cook like congee, rice and soup with this and yeah just give him like big spoon, big ladles and like small spoons so he can pretend he smells, he smells the food, go to food, pretends that it's hot or it's cold and yeah and he can also like pretend to bake it and he will use one space as the oven one space as the fridge so he can play and he can learn at the same time so he likes to pretend that these are the cupcakes that he bake he pretend that below the table is just like an oven and he will put the cupcakes here and when the oven is broken he can also pretend that 
the oven is broken and he will fix it with the tools. So right now we're just playing with the watercolor that we used for Easter egg yesterday. And we have the purple one here, green one, red one, and blue one. So basically he can put each color on one cup and if he want to combine uh, some color, he can use other cups and so far he like it. And right now I'm just using like a big garbage uh, bag to cover the table, otherwise somehow it can sometimes it can stain your table um yeah so so far he likes it so i tried before with one color he loves it as well and but i think he got bored already so that's why i try to use like different color now but i need to warn you though like uh this will be like so messy so just uh put them on like the old clothes or something and then just put like a uh, plates big plates at the bottom so it will not be that messy see it, when he, he pour it it's like it will be so messy on the plane and he's just like doing this back and forth back and forth combining all the water so you can put him inside the big shower as well and he can play with the water current so you can also put him on the swimsuit and shoot the shower door and he's been playing this for almost one hour now so he seems to be pretty happy. And every morning, I also let him to watch Monica J. Sutton YouTube channel. So it's like online soccer time on the YouTube. And he can learn about number of the week, shape of the week, the weather, what day is it, and what else. Like uh, number of the week, the later, ladder of the week, and words of the week as well. So and there's a dancing and tracing time as well. So after Miss Monica circle time, I usually uh, have a dancing and exercise together with Brandon. So these are some of the favorite songs of him. So it's just like the Trolls uh, soundtrack and also like the dance and freeze song. And also uh, I like to suggest that do the lessons in the morning first and then like the dancing and exercise and later on you can uh, play together. But like in the morning it's really easier. So much easier to teach him something because they are really fresh from their sleep uh, when they uh, in the morning they can concentrate more so I usually teach him about letters numbers tracings and also Montessori work in the morning and I also like to read for Brandon as well because he already uh, he doesn't take nap anymore so sometimes I need like a quiet time half an hour or one hour so we will read together uh, on the bedroom sometimes if he's really tired he will take a nap but usually that rarely happens and yeah I like to read him as much as possible and adding his vocabulary so you will need vinegar and an old cotton box and then uh, parchment paper so it will not stain this one and then uh, whatever glass that you need to like put the coloring water and this one, we have the neon water food coloring. We have the green one, blue one, pink one, and the orange one. Also do coloring together as well actually coloring is not Brandon's favorite but it really depends so he doesn't really like to use pencil uh, or markers he like to use like a brush and water paint somehow but I still need to teach him to use the markers and pencil so he can learn how to hold it a lot of like three-year-old like this one as well like uh, to trace the pictures based on a number but somehow Brandon is not really interested with this one but I still want to teach him like once in a while so he can know how to draw based on a number but I know a lot of like three-year-old uh, really love this one what is this? L, tree branches, B, flower, mushroom good job butterfly good job Grasshopper. 
cat, mouse. Good job. In Bahasa, satu. Satu. Dua. Dua. Tiga. Um. Pat. Li. Ma. A. Nam. A nam. Tu. Tuju. Tuju. Delapan. Delapan. Sembi. Sembi. Lan. Sembi lan. Yeah, good job. Yang mana penggaris? Dead one. Good job. Ah, uh, kuas. Yeah. Speedo. Yeah. Good job. Pencil. Yeah. Kerikan. Yeah. Lem. Yeah. Okay. Apa ini namanya? Glue. <laughs> Englishnya glue. Indonesianya? Bahasanya? Lem. Namanya apa? Kerikan. Good job. Ini namanya apa? Pencil. Bener. Coba bilang spidol. Spidol. Hitam mana? Good job. Ah, coklat. I move most them. Ungu mana ungu? There. Yes. Can you count the big marker? Ada how many? One. One okay. Two. Okay. Three. Okay. Four. Five. Okay, good job. In Bahasa, satu. Satu. Dua. Dua. Tiga. Tiga. Empat. Empat. Lima. It's almost failing. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you five easy science experiments for your kids, especially for your toddlers and preschoolers. So we're going to do magic meal. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. You will need plate, cotton bud, food coloring, milk, and this soap. So I'm going to show you. So we're going to squeeze some food coloring on the milk so you will put the milk on the plates or pan whatever that you have i'm gonna put two drops of the food coloring and then you will use this one brandon cotton bud dip it into the g soap oh, are you closing the cap thank you thank you for helping mommy do this and then swirl Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Is it fun? Coconut milk. Oh, coconut milk. We're doing these science experiments for the second time and my tips is to put the food coloring like not too close to each other and also when you dip the cotton bud into the soap and when you put it when you put the cotton bud on the milk you have to like swirl it slowly and gently instead of like so fast so it can create the larva like uh, situations so you will see later on this second experiment it looks so much better plan plan ooh udah udah hmm. wow Brandon look 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 Brandon look at the plate wow so pretty! Wow! Wow! It's called magic milk. Is it cool? Yes. <laughs> the magic. Magic. Wow! The color keep changing. Keep changing. Keep changing. Look. Rainbow magic rainbow. milk. Look. So I changed Brandon to like uh, wearing like an old clothes instead of like a new one and I put like a large arts and craft cover so it will not stain his clothes. Show me your hand that is already stained. Show me your hand. <laughs> Are you ready for another science experiment? Yes. Young different one. And different one? Okay. So Brandon, right now we're gonna make fireworks in a jar. 
So I have prepared three, uh, three quarter of warm water inside like a jar. You can use whatever, like transparent glass or anything. And a bowl or a plate with cooking oil. And then Brandon, you can put a little bit of uh, food coloring here. Dot, dot, dot. Dot semua? Yeah, sedikit aja, tapi cerita sedikit, sedikit gitu. Gak boleh banyak-banyak. Yeah. Small dot, big dot, small dot, big dot. So, let's try one, one spoon dulu. Kita try dulu. Wow, iya harus sedikit sih. Wow, wow, sedikit sedikit, Brandon. Ternyata nggak boleh banyak banyak kayak tadi salah, mami. Wow, Brandon, look from here. Look from here. Lihat ya, mami taruh ya. Brandon, look ya. Is it cool? Yes, can you put sticking more, sticking more, sticking more? So we tried this experiment a couple times. So if you pour it right away, it will like turn into black. So my suggestion is just to put bit by bit. And then you can see the fireworks. So Brandon is just helping me using a spoon. Color, right. So next we're going to make rainbow walking color. So and usually people use like six cups and six color but we only have four colors which is blue green red and purple and i have provided like four paper towels so if you have like six color then you will need six paper towel so you will put uh like paper towel here paper towel there and then it's like rainbow walking color and the paper towel change color right away yeah did you like brandon is it fun doing an exercise experiment? Yes! You like it? Yes! Show mommy your hand, both of them. So this is the aftermath, so you need to be careful. If you have a gloves, like for kids, that would be better, I think. Um, I tried to wash it a couple times, <laughs> it will not go. So for this activity, it's called sensory rain clouds. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you need water and like a mason jar or like a glass and you need a shaving cream So you will need the shave cream instead of like shave gel uh, Because if you're using shave gel, it will not work and you will of course need this food coloring So I just fill out the water like this Why did you fill two water? Whoa And then you can drop the itu chun, food coloring. Food coloring? Yeah. Two drops aja ya. One color, two drops. Dia bener benar kayak siram berapa banyak. Tadi barusan. Blue ray. Is it cool? Yes. There is white words on it. Oh. I need... Wow. Is it cool? So we're gonna do the uh, really famous the pepper experiment with the soap. So it's really in right now because of the COVID-19. So basically you need to prepare a little bit of water here and then you're gonna put the pepper on top of it. So to be pretend to be pretend that this is all the germs. So we will pretend that the pepper is the germs and we can teach the kid that if they wash their hands, the germs will go away. So you can dip it here, Brandon. And then you can see. Wow, germs shall go away. Yes, is it cool? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to make a video about what can you do on your balcony with your kids. So recently I have been renovating or redecorating my balcony. My condo's balcony is really ugly and I don't really like it. We don't really use that space so it's really sore in the eyes. So recently I just do a makeover so make sure you check out that video. It has so many views and a lot of people like it and it's really on a budget as well. It's not that cheap but it's really on a budget if you want to do like a makeover on your balcony and we have been using the balcony a couple times a day now compared to before so I think it's really worth it to invest the money to do a makeover on your balcony so it's really something that you're comfortable with and your kids comfortable with and Brandon loves to eat outside to play outside and to just sit on the picnic table outside 
So I'm gonna show you what we can do on the balcony so you can have some ideas. So you can have a pretend picnic on the balcony. You can put like a beach towel on the floor and you can play whatever sensory play that you want, like kinetic sand, water play or watercolor play. So tips for this sensory play is you can just use a food coloring and you can use uh, as many color as you want. And I just prepared some syringe that you get from the children's medicine. So I just prepared two like big uh, containers and one with soap. Like this is his bath soap. So it's safe for him and one sponge and some cards inside so he can wash it. And I layer the floor with like like some old towels and after he wash it, he can put it here and then you can also prepare like water if you want and then they can wipe it afterwards, wipe it dry for the cars. Do you like it, Brandon? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My hand, my hand! And you can also teach them about which car can float, which car can like sing and usually like the small one like this, it can float but like the heavy one usually sink. So Brandon loves this sensory play because he can play with water, he can play with bubbles, he can also learn about which uh, toys can sing, which toys can float. So it's playing and learning at the same time. And if you notice that on each category, I usually put like how many, like the durations, like how long can he last. And for this one, he loves it. He can play for one to two hours and you can put any toys that you want. This one, I put cars, but later on, he asked me to do like ro the robot one. So he wants to clean the robots. But I was thinking that we're just going to play that one tomorrow for the robots. And yeah, so he really enjoyed this one. So he's gonna put the cars, the one with the soap, and put it in the clean water without the soap. And we're just gonna wipe it afterwards. So after playing with the bubbles and learning which one, uh, which toy sings and which toys float, he can also learn how to dry the cars. So he just uh, wipe it with the clean towel and later on he line it up. So he said that the sun will like, dry the toys as well. So he can learn something about that as well. As you can see, he is lining up his toys one by one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as you can see here, I'm using like a small table from IKEA. It's like the portable one. So I don't want to, him to play on the beach tower or like on the picnic table. This is going to be really messy or on the floor as well because it has a gap on the floor. So I just use this white tray table that I got from IKEA and it's really useful and I can just easily clean it later on. And this one, I have a lot of like combinations uh, of Play-Doh. I got the one that can make pizza, the one can make hamburger. Uh, like spaghetti and seafood and stuff so he can learn about food he can learn about colors he can learn like how to make a ball and different kind of shape as well and I also teach him about combining colors as well so for example blue and yellow can make green black and white can make gray uh, red and white can make pink so I teach him about that one as well and so he's learning about cutting as well using the pizza cutter and a pretend knife what are you making Brandon? lollipop Another thing that you can play on the balcony next, you can also play with sand, of course. You can put a sand table or water table on the balcony, but if you don't have it, you can use something like this, just like a big um, box or big containers and just put random beach toys there and still enjoying the sunshine uh, while being at home. And if you don't uh, have kinetic sand, you can always do like a DIY kinetic sand. You can Google it on the Pinterest and you can also use like a play sand or something. But I just got this kinetic sand from Dollarama. It only cost me like $4 and I just put it on the big containers. He played this one for like so many times already but when I put it out like for the first week he played for about 3 hours each time so it's really nice uh, toys that he can play with. And if you have Epsom salt you can also use that as pretend snow and the concept is pretty similar like sand but it's just different color and it has like different texture as well compared to the kinetic sand and he loves playing this one as well and again I 
always like combine it with other toys and keep changing the toys that he can play with so he will not get bored as you can see I use like a blocks here dump truck here and I don't use the beach toy here so, uh, compared to the same one I use like the beach toys there and next also playing bubbles so you don't need to go out to like the park now you can always play on your balcony but be careful because it can make your balcony wet and it's really slippery so you don't want your kids to fall down and I asked him to like blow it out from the balcony like to the grounds later on so the floor is not wet and again I want to remind you guys again don't leave your kids or toddlers alone on the balcony and this uh, type of um, activities is suitable for three years and up I think and if you have like a younger kids make sure that you have like a safety gate or some things on the gate Next is water sensory play. You can use whatever tools that you want from the kitchens. You can use whatever toys that you want. We're just waiting for the water bits to grow. It takes about five hours for these water bits to grow. But in the meantime, he can still play with the water and the bits instead of just waiting and waiting and doing nothing. So he can put the water bits with the ladle and put it on the dump trucks and he loved that one. And I also have a lot of like beach toys that I can use like as you can see is it has like a windmill and it goes down and it goes down with the water and the water bits as well and if the water bits already grow bigger you cannot play, play this type of game and later on after they got bored with the tools you can also use hands as you can see brandon and i are using our hand and I know a lot of people are looking for water bits, so I got it from Amazon. AliExpress actually has it as well, but uh, I bought it before. It took me like more than two months and it hasn't arrived yet. Amazon is so much faster if they have it in stocks. And some, some people can find it at the local dollar store as well, but somehow I couldn't find it. That's why I got it from Amazon and I just combined a lot of water. Somehow the water that um, it comes with a lot of colors for the water bits and I just combine a lot of colors colors together so it can um, make a really colorful and rainbow water bits and he loves that as you can see he just used another and watering can and put it inside so today Brandon is helping me to clean the balcony because we're gonna redo the balcony we're gonna put like uh, the outdoor tiles here and we're gonna put the picnic table and of course uh, here you have to sacrifice them because it's dangerous to leave them alone at the balcony but yeah he's helping me to clean out the balcony because we're gonna re redo the balcony and you can always ask them to clean out the window and the door as well so it's something fun that you can do together and as you can see, at first I feel bad to ask him to clean the balcony, but he actually really enjoyed it. He's the one that asking it when uh, he saw me cleaning out the balcony, but I don't let him to spray the window. So I spray the window and he just like wipe it later on. And he loves this thing and he also loves this broom that uh, can clean out the spider web between the gates. And again, don't leave your kids alone at your balcony. And I always supervise the kids or you can take turn with your partners to watch him and he likes to clean the gate and he likes to clean the floor as well sometimes it's clean sometimes it's actually getting worse so I always need to redo it but it's again it's another activity that you can do and he seems so proud and so happy when he can do it so I hope you like this activity so far but I have tons of activities again on the rest of the video but I just want to mention that if you haven't watched this video make sure you do so I made a video about how to entertain your three-year-old and it has more than 13,000 views already so make sure you check out the part one part two and I also make a video about how I entertain my three-year-old in a day so I have like the routine schedule that I do every day during the lockdown and um, when we cannot go outside that's what we that's how I entertain him at home when he doesn't have school so make sure to check them out I'm gonna put the link below as well next we're gonna play with the water bits so as you can see it's already grow and it looks so pretty and colorful it's really big now so we're gonna uh, use it with different function right now so you can use a lot of like kitchen tools as well but you can also hide like small toys inside and I have this like um, plastics eggs that I got when we bought uh, kinder eggs before and he liked to open the uh, plastic eggs the yellow one and he put the water bits and 
inside and he just shake it so you can get a lot of like creativity and you can also google on pinterest you can do so many things with the water bits but the one that works for for him is just like um using this uh egg somehow he loves it and put it inside he can open and close the eggs and as you can see he's really happy he's singing mini force song right now like soundtrack next you can also read books to them on the balcony so just like a do pretend picnics outside on the balcony because between one o'clock to three o'clock i got really really sleepy at home and i got really bored already and uh, like sitting outside is really make me awake as well and he's so happy as well and he can pay more attention as well while he's playing and while i'm reading him a book so i usually uh, brought a bunch of book as well outside and i just try to read him books while he's playing so he can and do he's not bored as well because uh, sometimes he wa keep wants you to play with him but if you read him a book you can keep him engaged as well and it can keep you engaged as well not only your kid come back here David Boogil there Boogil? Mm -hmm. why David Boogil? Yeah, why? 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 No, David, be quiet. Don't play with your. That's enough, David. Go to your room. See, David, angry. Settle down. Hi, Uta, settle down. No, 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 no. No, no. So many no. Mm hmm. Next, you can also create this DIY construction play area. I made a video about this before. I'm going to put the link below. It's really cheap and it's really worth it to make. And you can play this indoor if it's raining outside. Or you can also play this on your balcony. I just put some rocks and a bunch of beach toy as well. Brandon loved this. And he can play for hours. And when he got bored, you can just store it first. And you can bring it out again later on. And next, Brandon loves to eat and drink outside, so we usually try to eat snacks outside. Uh, something that is not too messy because I don't want him to eat something messy outdoor, so it's because it's gonna be hard to clean. And as you can see, we usually go on picnic, but if it is uh, really hard to, for you to go outside, you can always stay at home and you can just go out from, to your balcony and just have like some refreshing drink, like yogurt and some fruits, or even like treats like he, he's having right now, like chocolate. You want chocolate, mommy? Yes, I want one. So for the next activity, you can also play with watercolor. You can always use like a uh, marker if you want, pencil color, but because watercolor it tends to be messy, so we like to do it outside. So I have two kind of watercolor, this one and that one. Actually this one, the water is prettier, but it's just like messier. It's just like it's messier. This one is not that messy, so I just prepare some cups and uh, prepare some brush and then large drawing paper so he can color the Power Rangers and whatever coloring book that you have. And this time we're gonna do it on the picnic table. We're gonna do some coloring but using pencil color and you can also use crayon or markers as well. But he usually doesn't last longer if he's uh, playing with this one. He, he loves the uh, watercolor better but it's just messier. <laughs> Next, he also likes to play robots, his favorite toys outside. So if your children love something like Barbie, like dolls or any Paw Patrol toys, you can also play it outside. And uh, somehow I lose that footage, but I just want to show you that you can also play any toys that you want outside. Last but not least, you can also do like a casual chat, chit chat with him or he can also play with the outdoor decor. As you can see, he's helping us to build his own picnic table. And after he's done, he's so proud of his creations and he was so happy with the balconies makeover as well. And he plays for hours and hours until 9 o'clock at night. So for today's le lesson, we just learned about uh, combining colors. So I got this from my friend. So it comes with four Play-Doh, which is white, 
yellow, red, and blue, which is the basic colors. And when you combine it, you can make so many colors. Yeah. And then, for example, blue and yellow, you can make green, red and white, you can make pink. Uh, so I'm just teaching him what can, what color can you mix and what color will you made it into. So for example, this one is white, blue, yellow, and red. We combine blue and yellow become green. green. And blue and white become light blue. And then red and blue combined together become purple so he was having fun before but he now he got bored so if you want to teach him color so i think it will be a good time as well and you can also teach him how to make like ball because he was having a hard time before but now i think he can make it a little bit even though it's not perfect so you can learn about color learn about common color learn about motor skill and also like learn how to make a ball so he can learn while playing and I teach him about the color in English and in Bahasa as well. So you can do so many things with this. Next, you can also build like a fort using like your chairs and like bed sheets. And he seems pretty happy with it. So you can do this. And you can read a book inside, play inside. And also use like a little lantern, like the like, like a flashlight inside the tent. <laughs> For the next activity, he is going to learn about numbers and language in English and in Bahasa and also like motor skills so he can open like the stickers so I'm gonna ask him to find like number one or satu in Indonesian and he's gonna put one and he's gonna put like little dot or little triangles from there put it one if it's two and then he's gonna put two and then he has done it until five and it takes him a long time I have to sit with him so he can like uh, want to sit so he can learn and what else so i'm gonna try to teach him until number 10 he knows 1 to 10 already but i just want to teach him how to search from this pile and then put all the numbers here and then also in bahasa as well and your child can also learn about colors in two languages or three languages if you want and open the stickers and put the garbage over here so i just want him to learn something about that So if you have like board games, you can also like uh, give your, your toddler to play with it. Of course, you need to supervise it. Otherwise, you will uh, they will damage the board games. And we have this. Uh, this is an old uh, board game that we have. It's called Game of Life. I used to love this game when I was a kid. And of course, he will not play like uh, seriously, but he can play to drive all the cars, like all the small cars, like that on the track. And it has a lot of pictures as well. So uh, he can pretend he is going to the park or the beach or something. And also they have like a lot of like this building. So he can pretend this is school library and his house. And it has a lot of money and like these little people as well. And has a lot of like these little people as well. It has the blue one for man, the pink one for woman. And he can put inside, uh, he can also put the people inside the car. So it, he will pretend that it's him and mommy and daddy and grandma and grandpa inside. And just drive along. And he can also play with this spin wheel. They also have like a little bridges like this as well, so it's really good. So they love whoa, whoa, whoa. it. Like this bridge. They are crash. Oh, it's crashing your car. I want to see. Yeah, so far he's playing with this um, couple times already for a couple days. So sometimes he will get bored and uh, we will store it and then we'll bring it out again if he wants to play. And if they have a sibling or something or friends coming, so they can also play together like on this track. Uh, and we also have Scrabbles. So Scrabbles has a uh, dice so he can 
learn how to throw a dice and count the dots and it also have like small letters like this so you can teach him to create a letter and say oh, what is T for T like for tiger and stuff like that so it has a lot of letters so he can learn about words and letters and also it has dice so he learn how to throw a dice and learn how to count like the dots as well and I also teach him to play Monopoly but of course not the real Monopoly so I just ask him to throw the dice and he can use the, like, the figurines to move from one square to the other square so when he's bigger I'm gonna teach him how to play the real Monopoly but for now it's something uh, to entertain him and um, most of us not playing board games for a long time so it's uh, rather than it's just sitting at home you can ask them to play with you but remember be careful if your toddler is really small still like and like to eat or like suck something just be careful because this one is really small and if you happen to go to like dollar store you can also get this one and it's only four bucks i think it's really affordable so they have like so many kind like the disney one for boys they have like the superhero justice league uh, and i also got him the one from disney for cars it's called stuck on stories because you can stuck all the characters like on the books there's a suction cup at the back and it has a lot of like stories as well so you can read to your child while uh, playing with them and what else it also comes with like little board game as well so I got him the one from Disney Pixar as well which is Cars and the reason I got this one because I want him to learn all the names of the characters and because we are going to Disneyland later on and I want him to know all the characters name because right now he only know Alexander McQueen and again it's only four bucks so it it has like ambulance like the tow truck and I the McQueen and the school bus, garbage truck and stuff like that so I know I want him to learn about the characters before we go to Disneyland and yeah I think it's really affordable as well next I also have a lot of like play cards I will ask him to look at the picture so this for example this is diamonds and he can find uh, cards that looks like a diamond and if this is a heart he can find something that looks like a heart like spade something if, and if it's spade, find something like spade and you can also do the other way which is uh, if uh, like 8 they have to find number 8 together like 9 they need to find number 9 so yeah we just need to be creative during this time and use whatever we have at home get your treasure get your treasure what oh, here Careful. Oh yeah, the marble. Be careful. Yeah. Crawl, crawl. Good job. Okay, let's go back. So for today's activities, I just uh, provided some color, um, color paper, like small one like this. You can use whatever paper that you have, but just not to take. And I give him like a punch hole. And then he, uh, you can get this at the dollar store. I, I have it at home before for my arts and craft. And then he just like uh, punched the hole. Can you show mommy how to punch the hole, please? So I just want him to learn about his sensory skill and his motor skill. Of course, for this activity, you have to supervise them. And I teach him how to use the scissors as well. I use like a small scissors. Oh, this simple. Um, now this simple because mm -hmm. like this. Uh, the whole bit. Uh, just a small scissor and this kind of scissor as well. Uh, but he's three and a half years old. So if your kid is too small, maybe don't give this activity. But you if they are older and if they learn this at school already, stuck. you can try. Oh yeah. Yes. Now he is learning how to cut a triangle, so we try to um, draw a triangle and he will cut based on the drawing that we draw. And last time he can cut a square and rectangle, so today he is going to learn how to cut triangle. So
so you can learn with that and he also cut the paper with this as well so I think it's really good for them to learn and again he's three and a half years old it depends on how old your kids are just be very careful it's hanging good thing lagi show mommy the triangle good job I'm so proud of you did you draw this? Yes, I so he's been playing this for quite a while now so I made him like three gondola cars do you like it Brandon? So right now it's time to do his Montessori work. So we're just playing with the sensory play and he need to scoop it to move it to the other bowl. So I have this one, I have stone, I have rocks and bits so he can change it up a bit. So this one is just buttons that I got from the store. I also have this one bits, the rocks. So I have the rocks, magnets, eraser as well so he likes this kind of stuff for sensory play and somehow he likes it when I put it in a tray because uh, at school I think they put all the work on the tray and he also likes to play with my magnets so the precious ones I just put it on top here uh, the one that I got from different countries and is my precious so I put it on top I put the other one on this side as well so it's pretty safe but the one at the bottom he can play with basically he can play with this one because he cannot damage it and he can also play with this one he got it from his no. birthday before and he also can put like this letter number and he loves this one as well and the robot one so he's just putting more magnets there. I'm putting more magnets on green one. Okay. So yeah, he seemed pretty happy. Are you? Do you like it? Yes. So for the next activity, I just use toilet paper and paper towel rolls, and but I don't have enough, so I use like the oh. old cardboard as well. So I just put a four rows of uh, paper towel rolls and toilet paper and then I just put four cups at the bottom and he's so happy so he really thinks that it's like cannonball wow. so he just playing with his car and pretend that that is the tunnel even though it's so ugly he played it for it he played for it for a long time already so sometimes it's kind of surprising so they have a lot of toys but they just want to have something new even though uh, I just made this oh really quickly, he loves it. I could stay like this forever following you. Just don't get too far, and I'll be right where you are. The week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yesterday was Sunday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Good job. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I teach to my 3-year-old. 
I'm going to show you our routine during the homeschooling and this is homeschooling week one. He used to go to Montessori preschool but uh, for this remaining year uh, we I will homeschool him because of the current uncertain situations and also we might move places as well. So the first one is flashcards. I'm going to teach him numbers and words using these flashcards. I have so many kinds, but for in this video, I'm going to show you the numbers flashcards. And I'm going to repeat this every day so he remembers the number, the items, and some new words as well. Good job. Sugar ball. Seven weetles. Good job. So I also bought him a safe scissor or kid scissors from the Dollar Tree. It's only one dollar twenty-five cents, and I always love watching him cutting like papers. He looks so focused, and he can cut straight lines and shapes as well. And I think he learned this when he went to the Monterey preschool. So the credit is not for me. I think it's for the teachers. But I just uh, let him keep practice every day, so he will not forget. Paper, scissors, shapes. So I'm just going to show you some of the activity books that I love. This one, I got it from Walmart. It's 40% off. Amazon has it as well. It's a wipe clean workbook, so you can use it over and over again. I think it's about 14 Canadian dollars. So uh, with that 40% off, I think it's really worth it. And it has a lot of like numbers, letters, and activity that your three-year-old can do. So I highly recommend this one. I also got uh, a lot of like activity books that I got from Dollar Tree. They have so many kinds that you can choose from. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. I also have this books that I got from another dollar store so it has the uppercase and lowercase of the alphabets it also has the number so I usually teach him in English and in Bahasa Indonesia as well I also love this book is from the dollar store as well so basically he can learn how to draw best on the number and he I always love him practicing this one because as you can see he can hold his pencil very well so I will give this credit to the teachers as well so he learned this from the school Eight to nine. So, what picture is it? There we go. Yes, good job. Baju? Next, I also teach him every day about the pre free printables that I made for him. You can also grab them and it's really easy. You can just subscribe to my video, like my video, and follow my Instagram account. I'm going to put the instructions on my description box as well. I have so many things that you can print. It's about days of the week, months of the years, and also seasons, weather, name. So make sure you check them out and shoot me an email later on. So for today's lesson, we're going to uh, study outside. We're going to do his work outside because he just like the weather is so nice today. And it's just something different so he will not the get bored. The weather is so nice! So I just put all the printables that I made. I got this one from Dollar Store. I think it's only $1.25. And it has 10 pieces. Uh, it has 10 sheets. And so this is to protect that so they will not rip and it will not like damage the paper. But if you have a laminate, um, machine you can also use that as well I think I saw it $30 at the Amazon but I'm not willing to invest that one yet so I'm just gonna use this it and it's good enough in. and and you can also put like the small pieces inside as well like this one oh, so uh, but so far I love this one because uh, inside you can put all the pieces uh, inside and then whenever he, uh, they are ready for their work you can just bring this one outside from the plastic bag so Brandon, are you ready for your work? Yes! <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Brandon. Brandon, B? B, C, D, E, F, G, 
It's Friday day. Yesterday was Sunday. Days of the week. Ah, oh, I just see some blue scissors. Mm -mm. It seems as my new scissors. Mm -hmm. Hey, what is this? Staples. Staples. Mm -hmm. Days of the week. Mm, watch Monday. Trus. Tuesday. Wednesday. January. February. February. March. March. April. April. May. May. June. June. July. July. August. August. September. September. October. October. November. November. December. December. And what is this? It's summer, so there's a sun and there's a ball, beach ball. How's the weather today? Is it sunny? I like Is snowy. it rainy? You like snowy? It's gonna be in winter. Right now it's summer. It's a? Yeah. Summer. And then it is a? Yeah. Is it summer? Uh uh. Nih, weather ni gimana nih? How's the weather this one? Rainy. Raining nih? So, we don't see it, but we pack it. Red or blue? Yeah, up to you. Can you use this? Mm -hmm. Use this. Don't be freaky. Actually teach him about something new for half an hour and then the next half an hour he can play with sensory play. I have so many sensory play ideas. I made tons of video before so you can check out my other video. I'm gonna put the description below. Make sure you check them out. Okay, you can play. Okay. It's snowy. Mm-hmm. I usually like him to do some puzzles every day. We have lots of and tons of puzzles. So I just change it up every day. And then I like this one because he can play while learning and working his brain as well. And as you can see, he is really happy when playing this puzzle. Sometimes when he's not into it, you need to help him, help him a little bit in the beginning. But later on, he will like uh, really into it. Good job! Is it same? Yes. It's time for... Read. For, read, for reading. Yeah. Story time. So we're gonna read all of these books. And I need to return this to the library soon. And we're gonna borrow some new books. New book! Okay. So he loved this book. It's from Elephant and Piggy Books. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, and then Sunday. Good job! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about homeschooling for week 2. And for the previous video, I'm talking about week 1 homeschooling and I posted uh, free printables. Basically, you just need to like and subscribe my video and I'm going to send you uh, free printables for week 1. 
is uh, has the days of the week month of the year and many more and for this week i'm gonna post a uh, free printables for week two and it's a fall team and it has like to do two d shapes 3d shapes and also continents and oceans so it's gonna be really useful for your preschoolers so don't miss out make sure you like and subscribe my video so you can get the free printables monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and then sunday good job so right now we are reading Lama Lama at Mama. We read this book before. Um, they have so many editions, so we just borrowed some more. We have this one, the bully goat is good as well. And this one is good as well, it's Lama Lama Mrs. Mama. And we also borrowed the Lama Lama red pajama before and he likes it as well. The, uh, that's why he asked me to borrow uh, the different editions because he wants to read other one. First the shopping, then a treat. Mama Lama gets the seat. What? Where is he sat? He wake up. Lama dreaming in the car. Sleep. <laughs> So basically every week I will repeat the material that I already teach Brandon and then I'm going to add new stuff so that's why in this video I'm going to show you that I'm repeating the stuff that I teach Brandon for the week one which is like days of the week, the daily calendar and then I'm going to add more material so he will remember. B. B. Mm -mm. Uh, Good job. Uh, and then A. Good job. And D, o, and Seven continents and five oceans. So because uh, right now it's fall, so I changed it to the fall uh, themes, and then I just put it inside this plastic. Seven continents and five oceans. So there are seven continents, which is North America. We live in North America continents. We live on... Hey! North America. And Ama and Akong is in Asia here, in Indonesia here. It's so... It was so... So it was so small. Yeah, really small and far away. And this one is South America. South America. Circle, square, triangle, pentagon. Sometimes I say that I want you back, but I don't know if I do. Sometimes I think about the So after he cut all the fall themes and learned about the new words, he will learn about 3D ships. Uh, so it's really interesting. So I teach him what's the difference between the pier and also like circle, triangle and a cone, cube and square. So he's starting to learn about 2D and 3D ships. And for this one, it's inspired by his Montessori school. So when I went to his school before, he was like tearing up the newspaper when he was like two and a half years old. So that's why uh, I give him this activity from uh, the newspapers and then like the brochures. And he loves it because it has a lot of pictures. He just tear it up and using the scissors again. I don't want him to forget how to use the scissors. 
and also for the second activity I just uh, asked him to help me to prepare lunch by doing this he wants to eat his lunch more because he made it and then he because of the shapes it's really cute he wants to eat it as well and also yeah so every day I try to do a lot of like sensory activities and it's different every day I try to think of the sensory activity usually like the night before or during the weekend so I know what to do like the next day already and if you're curious you can watch my playlist for how to entertain like toddlers and preschoolers especially during this uncertain time you need to uh, entertain them more indoor because of the current uncertain situation so I posted a lot of ideas so you can just uh, use that uh, to entertain your kids and also it has like uh, indoor activities like rainy days activities that you can do so make sure you check them out I'm gonna put the list and the link below as well on my description box Going insane. Got a problem to fix. Can we face tonight? Face tonight. Oh, no way. So as you can see, Brandon helped me to cut the bread, the cheese, and he can also help me to push all the bread and the cheese from the cutter. And he also learned how to use the small fork and uh, like decorate all his lunch and snacks. So um, yeah, so I highly recommend to do this if you have a picky eater. He's a picky. He's at the picky eating stage right now. Before he was okay. And then yeah he's really happy and then every time he bring the lunchbox outside he's so happy and he's so proud somehow and then next I'm gonna show you one of the example that uh, of the lunch bento that I made so this is one of the example and I'm gonna make a new video about lunchbox ideas I'm gonna decorate all the lunch bento so you, you make sure you like and subscribe my video and also turn on the notification button so you will not miss out my new video and so right now because of the current situation you need to pack all the lunch for your kid so I think this video will be really helpful and useful for you to plan your groceries to plan your kid snacks and make sure that they eat all the healthy items so it's good to prepare ahead of time mm -hmm. 